It's August 6, 1958, and fast-rising heavyweights Sonny Liston and Wayne Bathia meet in Chicago Stadium. Liston has had 19 professional fights, winning 18, 10 by KOs. He lost one decision to Marty Marshall. Bathia was one of the truly fine punchers of the heavyweight division, with wins over young Jack Johnson, Paul Andros, Jimmy Slade, and former heavyweight champion Ezard Charles. Liston stalks his man, always moving in, throwing punches straight and hard. Bathia tries to back off, but Liston is relentless. Liston pours it on, Bathia trying to defend against the two-fisted attack. Bathia is hurt, and then Liston gets on a left hook. Bathia gamely tries to hold on. Liston with another left hook, a right, and another left, and Bathia is down. Liston knows he has his man, and continues to hammer punches home. Bathia is out on his feet, and the referee showing good ring sense stops it. Sonny Liston wins going away, knocking out Wayne Bathia in the first round. Liston went on to become the heavyweight champion by knocking out Floyd Patterson in September of 1962. It's March 30th, 1967, Gothenburg, Sweden, and former heavyweight champion Sonny Liston is on the comeback trail against Philadelphia heavyweight Dave Bailey. In round one, Liston in the white trunks comes out fast and is all business. Sonny knows that Bailey is a good puncher, but Liston fights just one way. That's throwing those big bombs, which have made him one of the most feared heavyweights in the past decade. Five years ago in Chicago, Sonny won the World Heavyweight Championship when he knocked out Floyd Patterson in one round. But two years later, Liston lost the title to Cassius Clay, the Louisville boxing master, in a stunning upset. Now a crisp right hand to the jaw smashes Bailey down. The referee sends Liston to an neutral corner and counts over Dave, but it looks like it's all over. Let's take a look at that knockout in slow motion. Liston, always the aggressor, moves in trying to get Bailey to make a mistake. Then he unleashes those big rights and lefts. Liston chases after Bailey as the veteran tries to escape Sonny's powerful blows. Liston wants a knockout and he won't let Bailey get away. Sonny catches Dave in the corner and as the 7-1 to one underdog comes out, Liston maneuvers him around for his big right hand bomb. What? There it is. Bailey is down and out. One big punch, and Sonny Liston has a victory for his long time back to the heavyweight championship. Everyone agrees that this is the Sonny Liston of championship form. Sonny is back in the middle of the heavyweight picture. The big boys are going to have to make room for Sonny Liston once again. It's August 19, 1966, and knockout takes you to Gothenburg, Sweden, where Sonny Liston takes on Amos Johnson. In round three, former heavyweight champion Sonny Liston, wearing the white trunks, starts right in, stalking the smaller Johnson. Liston is known in the fight game as a man who likes to end fights early. Liston is after him. That left hook landed flush, and Johnson is desperately trying to clear his head. Amos is up, but the referee continues the mandatory eight count. Now the referee gets a towel to wipe Johnson's face. Liston starts right in again, but Amos stays at close quarters. Now watch as Liston gets off some more blockbusters. Johnson catapults to the canvas. The referee is screaming out the count.
Johnson has fought such men as European champions Henry Cooper and Carl Mildenberger, both fine heavyweight fighters. Liston starts using his pile driver jab to set up Johnson for the finisher. Liston is in the midst of a comeback campaign to gain another shot of the heavyweight crown. He originally won the title from Floyd Patterson and held it for two years. A jab and a right uppercut and Johnson hits the deck for the third time. He's flat on his back. Now he's on his feet, but he's stumbling all over the ring. The referee rules that the fight is over. Sonny Liston knocks out a game Amos Johnson and then demonstrates his special version of a victory grin. It's May 23rd, 1968. Former heavyweight champion of the world, Sonny Liston, takes on Billy Joyner in Los Angeles, California. Here in round six, Liston and the White Trunks is pursuing Billy Joyner around the ring. Sonny's great left jab has given him a comfortable lead for scoring. A stunning left sends Joyner crashing to the canvas here in round six. The referee picks up the count and takes a close look at Billy to see if he's okay. Sonny Liston moves in to finish it. Former heavyweight champion Sonny Liston going to work on Billy Joyner. Liston won the heavyweight championship of the world in September of 1962, seven years ago, with an incredible opening round knockout of Floyd Patterson. Two years later, Sonny was stopped in seven rounds and lost a heavyweight crown to lightning quick Muhammad Ali. Billy Joyner has been taking tremendous punishment here in round six. There's the bell. Billy Joyner is unable to come out for round seven. Former heavyweight champion Sonny Liston scores an impressive seventh round knockout over Billy Joyner in Los Angeles. It's May 19th, 1969. Former heavyweight champion of the world, Sonny Liston, takes on George Scrap Iron Johnson in Las Vegas, Nevada. In rounds one through five, Liston and White Trunks built up a commanding lead in the scoring with accurate punching. Here in round seven, Scrap Iron Johnson in green is trying to put together some combinations to slow down the former champion. Liston throwing dynamite at Scrap Iron Johnson. Sonny Liston won the heavyweight championship in September 1962, seven years ago, with a first-round knockout of Floyd Patterson in Chicago. Sonny lost the heavyweight crown two years later to a lightning-fast underdog challenger Cassius Clay. Liston now on the comeback trail. He wants another shot at the world title. Liston completely in control here in round seven. Every punch on target. Johnson has been taking tremendous punishment this round. The referee is watching the action closely. He may step in if Johnson is unable to defend himself. right-left combination by the former champion. Johnson is hurt, but gamely continues. This is Sonny Liston at his explosive best, throwing bombs with both hands. It's amazing that Johnson is still standing, 
It's all over. The referee stops the fight, awarding Sonny Liston a seventh round knockout over a very courageous George Johnson. It's April 28th, 1967. Former heavyweight champion of the world, Sonny Liston, takes on hard-punching heavyweight Elmer Rush. Signs all over Stockholm, Sweden, herald this battle of knockout punchers. For five rounds, it's been a give-and-take struggle, with Sonny Liston in white trunks having the better of the exchanges. Elmer Rush in black trunks has been counter-punching most of the time. Watch closely as Sonny lands a strong overhand right. Rush is on the canvas. Liston really tagged him with that punch. Rush is taking the full nine count, trying to clear his head. In his familiar style, Liston moves in to finish it. Sonny unleashes a series of punishing left hands. Continuing in slow motion, Sonny will land a series of punches and then a crushing right which will send Rush to the canvas for the second time. There it is, down goes Rush. Liston is truly explosive tonight. Elmer's up again and taking a count of nine. Sonny still has 45 seconds left in the sixth round to end it, and that's more than enough time as far as Liston is concerned. Now Liston lands a right uppercut, flush on the jaw. That's it. That punch had finish written all over it. Rush will try to hang in there by struggling to his feet, but the referee says it's all over. Elmer Rush gave it 100%, but it just wasn't enough. A gallant effort by Elmer Rush places him among the many who have felt the shock of Liston's knockout power. Mark up another victory for the big bear, Sonny Liston. It's June 29, 1966, and former heavyweight champion Sonny Liston takes on the German heavyweight champion Gerhard Zeck. Knockout picks up the action at the beginning of round one. Zeck in black trunks has the unusual southpaw stance. Liston wearing the white trunks is trying to regain the stature he lost when he dropped the title to Cassius Clay in February of 1964. Sonny looks like he wants to get Zeck out of there in a hurry, but the German has other ideas. Sonny goes right back to work, but his timing looks a bit off. Zeck has held the German heavyweight title for almost three years now, and has given a good account of himself against many of the world's best fighters. In round three, Liston still on the offensive. Watch as Sonny again back sack against the ropes, but is unable to press the advantage. By the seventh round, Liston has got a solid lead in points, but is still being frustrated in his attempts to KO the German champion. Liston lands a right, and then a left hook. Zek goes down. Those were the kind of punches he's been trying to get in all during this fight. Zek manages to rise, but the referee says it's all over. Sonny Liston wins by a seventh round knockout over a tough Gerhard Zek. It's December 4th, 1961. And heavyweight Sonny Liston is at his awesome physical prime as he meets Albert Westfall, former heavyweight champion of Germany. As knockout picks up the action in round one, Westfall in the black trunks is being extremely cautious, for Liston is known to pack a TNT wallop in either hand. At this stage of his career, Liston has won 33 of 34 fights and has knocked out 22 of his opponents. He is considered the number one challenger for Floyd Patterson's heavyweight title. 
And if he wins tonight and Patterson gets by Tom McNeely in a fight that is scheduled for later on this same evening, it is expected that a match between the two will be set up very soon. Albert Westfall has just lost his German heavyweight title and hopes to regain some stature by giving a good account of himself against Sonny Liston, an opponent that most fighters try to avoid. Westfall has been told to stick and move against Liston, a tactic he doesn't regularly use. Liston has flattened over half of his KO victims in the first three rounds, and Westfall is evidently trying to avoid a similar fate. Liston is after him. Liston throws a sledgehammer right, and Westfall is down. There's no doubt about it, he was really tagged. The referee gets down on one knee to shut out the count, but it's no use. Westfall is completely out. Westfall is starting to come to now, but Liston has a one-punch victory, and he's set for his climactic battle with Floyd Patterson. <laughs>